A shuttle boat ferries people back and forth across Lake Oroville. Now it's the only way to get to the houseboats on the water. There is no launch ramps open, and we haven't for a few weeks now. California's drought is drying up the lake, impacting all those who use and rely on it yet again. Every year there seems to be a disaster and issue. I mean, last year we had COVID and that lost access. And who could forget the Oroville Dam spillway crisis that threatened hundreds of thousands of homes in 2017? Heavy flooding damaged the spillway, but today, a very different picture. This entire area, once covered with water, now sunbaked, cracked, and desperately dry. It's just sad. It's hard for the communities. Dozens of houseboats sit empty on stacks of wood nearby. We want to give you another sense of just how far those water levels have fallen. Take a look behind me here. You can see the tree line back there, and that's where the water level used to be. Since then, it's fallen about 300 feet. I've been in California my whole life. I've never seen it that low. Mark Russell drove to Butte County all the way from Fairfield to see the dam with his family. He remembers a very different Lake Oroville 10 years ago. The water was actually into the parking lot and I had to go almost to my knees to get to the to the boat ramp. Quite the opposite today. And the low water levels are also impacting the local wildlife. State park reps tell me that animals like the deer are having to travel further out from the shelter of the tree line to get to their drinking water, which makes them more vulnerable to predators. Reporting from Oroville, Stephanie Lynn, KCRA 3 News. Well, the lake was once open 24 hours a day for recreation, but because of the drought conditions, state officials are now asking people to end their activities by sundown.